Every math genius started exactly where you are. They made dumb mistakes, just like we all do. They struggled with basic concepts, just like we all do. And they felt dumb, just like we all do. Mathematics is hard. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort, sacrifice, time, practice, patience, grit, determination, motivation, discipline. The list goes on and on and on. But every math genius started exactly where you are, my friends. Remember that. And if you want an even more concrete example that you can take with you after watching this video, think about your professors. When you're, when you're in class and your professors are teaching you something, this is one that I would use personally when I was struggling. So when I would see my teachers, you know, working on a proof, like let's just take advanced calculus, and they're going through it, you know, and I'm sitting there trying to understand every step, and it's just, it's just so hard, and I wonder, why is it so hard? You know, sometimes you wonder that. Why, why is math so hard? Why is this so hard to understand? Why, why, why am I struggling so much to understand this proof? Especially if this, if this person, this, this professor is able to do it. They're able to go up there and, and wing it. Do the proof carefully, laugh about it, joke. They make it seem like it's effortless. Why is it so easy for them and so hard for me? And the truth is they also had to go through it, right? Nobody is born knowing mathematics. You aren't born knowing math. You don't, you don't wake up or you're not born and you're like, you know, your first words are a quadratic formula, <laughs> you know? I mean, maybe, probably not, but you have to start somewhere. And so everyone goes through it. Everyone learns basic algebra. Everyone learns trigonometry, calculus, proof writing. Everyone struggles. You know, e even the smartest people struggle. And that's, that's one that I think a lot of people have a hard time understanding, especially if you're in college or high school and you have friends and some of your friends are like, oh, I don't study, you know. You know, if you're in a class and you have friends and your friends are basically getting really good grades, some of them are, and you're not, and you're studying really hard and they're like, oh, we don't study. I have a picture memory, you know. It makes you feel like you're deficient, like there's something wrong with you. And the truth is this, and this, this took me a long time to figure out. Everyone struggles. I didn't realize that until, I mean, I really realized it in graduate school because that's really when you start meeting people who are much better than you. I mean, uh, if, if you're really good as an undergrad, when you go to graduate school, that's when you really see people who are even better. I mean, maybe there's people who are better than you now, but grad school is where you see top talent, right? I mean, who, who the heck goes to math grad school, right? You have to have a math degree and you have to want to go there and you have to be good and you have to get in. So that's where you get the best math students. And so when you are around people who are much better than you, you say, okay, these people, they know more math than me. So you think they must have more raw talent. That's that's your first impression. But then you see how hard these people actually work. You know, when you see someone who is much smarter than you, work harder than you, then you say, hey, hey, wait a minute. Maybe, it, maybe it's not just raw talent, right? Maybe, maybe I can do it. Maybe, maybe I also have raw talent that I haven't untapped yet. And the thing is, when you're not surrounded by people, who work hard and are smart, it, it's hard to see that. And oftentimes I think, you know, if you're in an algebra class or a stats class, lots of people already have like a really good background. You know, a lot of people have a lot of math in high school. Maybe their, their parents uh, or teachers or, you know, they just come from a different place. You know, some people learn calculus at 12 years old. Some people learn it at 35 years old. Everyone starts at a different place. And so, 
a lot of times you're not in a situation where you are surrounded by these people who are ultra achievers. Not, not Again, not just smart, but they work hard. And when you look at people like that, I think that's a good reminder, right? That with hard work, you can do it. And again, every math genius starts somewhere. So the next time you're feeling down, the next time you're feeling like, you know, you don't get it and it's so hard and everyone else gets it and you don't, just know that a lot of times it's just about where you started, it's background, raw, raw ability also matters, it does, it does. But let me just say that hard work I think matters way, way more. There's that, there's that famous quote, I think it was at Edison, I don't know, I said Genie or maybe Einstein, I think it was Edison, it was uh, genius is 1% intelligence or 99% inspiration, something like that. 99% perspiration, 1%, I forgot the quote. If you know the quote, <laughs> drop a comment for that quote. Genius is 1%, I don't know. The point is genius is like 99% effort and then 1% talent, that's the idea, right? So most of it, most of it is effort. You know, because raw talent without without doing anything with it is worthless, right? You have to actually put in the work. So yeah. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Just remember that if you're struggling, it's okay. You will get there. Stay strong, my friends. Oh, before I forget, I have math courses. I have courses on algebra. I have a college algebra course that's really good. Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, Differential Equations, Advanced Calculus, Abstract Algebra, and several other courses. They're math courses and they're good. A lot of them have assignments. There's no mistakes. All of these courses are on Udemy, which is a reputable website. But if you, if you do check out my courses, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Just use any of those links. And when you do that, it helps me greatly. Uh, if you go straight to Udemy, they, they, they take a huge cut. <laughs> it's very little for me. So please use my links from my website or from the description of this video. I also have books, tons of books, all kinds of books, all kinds of math books, other books, books in different languages. Check them out. Link in the description to my Amazon author page where you can see all my books. And again, the key takeaway from this video is that if you're feeling dumb, if you're feeling like you, you can't succeed, just remember that everyone starts at the same place. Every genius, in particular, every genius has to start from the beginning. Your teachers, your teachers who seem like gods. I know sometimes I used to think my teachers were like these like ridiculous, <laughs> it's like, how do they do it? <laughs> how are they so smart? They also had to go through it. And, and you start to see, I mean, you see people get better as you climb through the ranks. You know, you're in an algebra class, you're with algebra students. You're in a calculus class, you're with calculus students. You're in an advanced calculus class, you're surrounded by advanced calculus students. You know, and, and you keep going, you get to grad school and you're surrounded by students who are even better. And then next thing you know, these students are getting really, really close to, to professor level. You know, not, not, not quite, but uh, they get pretty good. So yeah, anyways, stay strong, my friends.